Hello and welcome to a new series. We're playing RimWorld. But this ain't actually the main series because uh, basically what I'm going to do is this little time I'm going to be playing some survival games. I'll play this a survival game till I die and then I'll jump onto another one. So we'll start off with RimWorld. This is a colonial sim. Uh, I've already created a world if you don't know what this is. Oh, no. Wait, I should probably start because we are playing with mods. We are playing with the epic mod pack. I'll put a link to it in the description. It adds all of these amazing mods. Really cool. Amazing. Amazing mods. Uh, I already have had a little bit of a playthrough on easy. Well, basically, I say easy, more like sandbox, just to get a little bit familiar with all the mods. But we're going to be playing with, well, I suppose what would be considered normal in this game is very hard. I've not gotten that far with the normal difficulty, so let's do this. You can create worlds, but I've already got a world, and it's already got populated and all that. We're going to go with, um, but, uh, we'll go with the normal one with the challenge, which is basically normal. 100% as large as rough challenge mode, which is challenge mode, weirdly enough. Um, it's the world. Let's actually have a look at our world, though. And as you can see, it is a very nice world. We've got this big lake, sort of down the middle, like a great lake. And um, yeah, right, so let's just pick a location. These are former colonies. As you can see, I, I've had a go of up at the uh, icy peaks. They've all died. Everything that's yellow is all dead because I'm crap at this game. Uh, who are these guys? These are, no, no, ooh, the Goa system, law. oh, Jaffas, oh, Jaffas are so annoying. Right, we're going to go find somewhere nice and, let's go, let's go with somewhere cold, actually, or maybe desert. Okay, let's, um, ooh, let's go with an island. Yeah, should we do an island? Or mount or coastline? Yeah, let's go with an, ice, an island. We're going to go with a tundra island. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. I wonder if there's like any like singular dot islands just in the middle of nowhere. Like that one there. That would be quite cool. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Right, we're going to we'll put it on large. We're going to put it on this large here. Actually, no, we're going to put it on this one. Because it's quite cool. Uh, so we've got plenty of room. We have the prepare carefully mod. This mod allows you to customise what colonists you want. So we're going to create some roleplay colonists. People we're going to care about and then they're going to die. It's going to be horrible. So first things first, we're going to have our... Um, uh, we're going to have a dot, we'll have our professor, a scientist, who's sort of a, a botanist, sure, why not? Well, actually, let's go for like a, let's, let's actually make this person a proper like scientist, like, because they're, like, they're, 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 they're part of a crashed little spaceship, so we'll actually make this, uh, yeah, we're going to have a vengeful child, because why not, and they are going to have been a... Alcoholic truck it though. Uh, oh, AI researcher. That sounds pretty cool. Sounds like something this uh, female would do. Um, oh, I can't have that because it's a little blot. I don't know why it's blot. Probably because, I don't know. Uh, let's try and find someone who is sciencey. <laughs> Test subject. A little bit. So it's sciencey, but in the wrong sense. Sciencey. Uh, oh, what, what, what is wrong with this? This backstory may not. Oh, do I need to not be a vengeful child? Uh, no, no, what, what, what is wrong with this? I don't know, let's just, uh, random it up, uh, sure, why not, this will do, and we will call her, um, make it a male, actually, because, I know, it's like the idea of a male, uh, he does appear to be naked, so we're gonna make a bottom clove layer, um, we're gonna make him have white clothes, that, yeah, that was pretty white enough, um, we'll give him some, we'll give him a jacket, a parka, let's give him a nice greenish parka, oh that's a bit big, it's more like a seam jacket, that'll do, give him a nice green parka, uh, not that green, that'll do, uh, this hair, we'll make him, we'll make him, oh that'll do, and, uh, right, right let's call him, um, a hat. Let's give him a hat. Well, nah, don't give him a hat. Actually, let's give him. Hey, I have just realised. Oh my god, what the hell? Um, wow, those are some interesting hats. <laughs> um, what was that with that? I like that one. I mean, that nice and greyish. And um, but but I just realised who this character is. We're gonna call him. We're gonna call him Wallace. Uh, and we're gonna spell. We're gonna call him Wright. Uh, but we're gonna spell it like with a W, because why not? 
So we got what is right. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Right. Oh, actually, I should probably actually make him sciency. Well, he's not social because he's very scary and intimidating. And he's not. He'll give him my skinned. Um. <laughs> not a nudist. <laughs> Psychopath. I like the idea of that. Sure. Why not? We'll rock that one up. Not ice skin because. Bleh. Um. What else do we want? We want something here that's like sort of something that really makes him who he is. Like I don't know, uh, a, a cannibal? No, because then that just becomes a pain in the ass. Uh, what's abrasive? Azura always says Azur. Name's not Azur. Um, Azura always says exactly what's on his mind, especially if it's alright. What what does this actually give me? Nothing. Fine, we're just gonna go with this then. Um. Um, Hisenberg. Sure. Hisenberg. Hisenberg. I'll do us fine. Right. Going for a bit of medicine. No, he's not medicine. He's a scientist. He can't actually do any science, though. <laughs> that would have been great. Uh, yes, he's a grower. Why not? Because he needs it for the um, herbal remedies. We'll give him a, a one medicine. Right. We'll make this person our sort of badass soldier give her a random she will be uh, not 55 because jesus christ 25 and her hair will, will be um yeah we'll give her that that seems quite cool make a uh blondish sort of type uh we're just gonna randomize all these actually screw it we're gonna go to that and uh, that seems fine by me we'll call her shade no no We'll call her Vet Ven Ven no. Um Ur Urf No, that's Skyrim. Um ja Jasmine no, Jasmine It's the future, names are spelled differently, get over it. Not pumpkin, uh Doctor and Leah, I like that. No, no. Uh call her badass. Ba badass. Because you know what? That's what she is. And she's going to have a lot of shooting, a lot of melee, not mining. Pfft. She is going to be the killing machine, and it's going to be great. And you know what? We're actually going to give her some uh, sympathetic body parts. Because I can see her having sympathetic body parts. We can give her a nanotech, not nanotech, it's a bit too advanced. Cybernetic, sure. I might have gotten those two mixed up, whatever. Okay, that'll do us fine. Right, pick one more guy, or gal. We're going to hit random, and their name is Alina. That's what they look like. Actually, I think uh, let's get him. Well, we can get a man. We'll get another male. Um, right. We get just random you. That'll do fine. Your name will be uh, Russian. That's fine. Kazuki. That oh, sounds Russian. It might not be. God knows what it could be. Um, right. You're gonna be that. You're gonna be that. That seems fine to me. We're gonna save this preset. And what's next? Let's do this. That all seems fine to me. Generating map. Right, let's get into this. Let's see what we're going to do. Ah, right. I do like this game. I've played a lot of it. Um, I haven't actually, even on my sandbox game, I was just looking at this. Oh dear, we've had a crash. Oh dear. All resolution switches have failed. Screen cannot fit resolution. Hello and welcome. Uh, well, not welcome. But, uh, game crashed. Woo, that was weird. Uh, instant frame rate drop. Brilliant. No, I'm joking. Uh, right. Yeah, we're in, we're in. Same crew. It's paused. They haven't landed yet because I want to do something really quickly. Uh, I want to just grab, do this. Why? Because I want to make sure they're gathering everything because there's not really a lot on this map as there is. Oh, okay. So there's a cutoff line. There's a weird little cutoff line. You just have to do this again. It's fine though. Uh, this map is a bit big though, so just make sure everything is liked. Uh, yeah. Liked? Yeah. Like this video. Please, like it. No, um, right, they're going to land down somewhere. I think it'll be here. Yes, yeah, this is where the wood is, so... Oh, here they are! Here they are! Here are the survivors. So you're going to get our good gun. You're going to get this. Oh, actually, no, I should probably see who if you've got... Uh, so you've got good melee, actually. So you're going to go with that, and you have good shooting. So yeah, good choice. Good choice. Woo! Okay. And... Break all of them. I found a nice little place where we can set up base straight away. Lovely, because we got a little beach side. It is freezing cold, so it's not a very nice warm beach, but there's this little room here. So, what I'm going to do is going to claim it. 
It's gonna be nice. We're gonna put a door here. We're gonna get a wooden door. It's gonna be great. Uh, we're gonna deconstruct. Uh, no, we're not gonna deconstruct because we can just get a campfire. But we're gonna set up a little little base for them to all sleep in for tonight. We're gonna zone in some farms. So we're gonna zone. Oh, what is that sound? I haven't had sound effects for this for a while. Gonna put that there. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm just gonna delete that because there's no need for that right now. We're gonna grow some strawberries because I think they're a bit nice to eat for people. We're gonna grab, we're gonna make, set in the order to build a butcher's table and a stove. And yeah, okay. Oh, and we should also zone a dumping zone. So we'll put the dumping zone. Um, don't put it on the beach side because it's pollution, you know, gotta keep the planet clean. You only got one planet. Well, apparently we don't have one planet because that's why we're here. But that's not the point. I'm going to make a nice big stop. Actually, I'm not going to make a big stop. I'm just going to put down an orbital trade beacon, and you'll see why. Because orbital trade beacons automatically put down a stockpile, which is quite nice. Oh, so this is like hotkey, like little group. So if I go and set all of these to be uh, drafted, and then press Shift, and then the number six, it'll draft them all. To oh, I didn't actually select them all. Brilliant. Let's try that again. Eh, oh, fuck. Uh, one one colonist because they're not all drafted, and there we go. And if I press six, automatically drafts them all. Brilliant. Okay, and I'm gonna press zero, and that undrafts them all. Brilliant. They're all gonna bugger off up north. <sighs> oh, my God, this is just sound. I I haven't played with sound this for a while. This is a very nice game just to have like play while something on TV's on, like. I, I tend to play this when I'm watching Breaking Bad, which is quite nice. Uh, so they're just going to farm. Where's uh, Badass gone? Oh, built the door. Lovely. It's got a nice little interior. Um, alright. Jesus. Apparently Badass is Jesus. That's quite nice. Oh, actually, I just realised we should probably get some power. So I'm going to break this back wall. Put in a conduit wall. I'll put in a steel one because it's a little bit close. And then... Set up a. Uh, I think if I can. What I'll do is I'll do this, put that there, hook up a battery, and we'll put a little solar power generator behind it. Because it's only powering a stove, we don't need anything a bit bigger than that. Definitely no need for anything a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't think I need to even put a power switch in, because it's fine. Uh, in the morning, they'll get all that constructed, hopefully. They better. And they'll also build the, the beacon, which they've already started building, actually. Let's take a look at the jobs, make sure there's no jobs not being done. Okay, I want them all the plank cut because that's useful to just have. Constructing and crafting, I want them all to be doing. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's fine. And also, I'm going to put a second person on Doc's ring. In case there's ever a point where one, the doctor actually gets ill and no one's going to cure them. Top fact, make sure there is always two docs, people set to doctor. So that way, if the doctor falls ill, you don't have to... They won't die. But there you go. So... I built the beacon and it's automatically put down a tra uh, stock Stockholm, a stockpile for it. Uh, they built the battery, it's quite nice. Then I'm gonna build that, it'll be fine. Oh, it's put in order bill. I'm gonna add a bill, cook a simple meal, do until you have three. Okay, that's four. And a butcher's table, just do forever. Because there's no need for them to uh, basically cut everything up. Let's actually get a few hunting orders out as well for these little bugs or things that are around here. Oh, God, I'm used to playing on hills or mountains. This is really flat and weird. Anyway, we're going to have to build a little fortress if we survive that long. We're probably not going to survive. I don't intend to... Well, I don't... I do intend, but I don't expect to live that long. I do want to set up some kind of security, though, straight away. So I will be doing this. I will also come over here and set up some security here. And some security over, uh, not here. Where should I? Uh, where else would I set up security? Probably up here. Uh, and we're gonna want to get some, just some turrets. Put up around. Set one up here, one here, and one here. And we're going to actually destruct these walls. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something else. I'm going to deconstruct this. Get a production table. Butcher's table. Because I don't expect any enemies to come from the east. 
Uh, never re should have the West. Sorry, <laughs> God's sake. Um, I don't expect anyone to come from the West, but well, it's ocean, and also it's deep ocean. I don't think people can cross over deep ocean. Well, I don't think. Well, last time I checked, they couldn't. So it's just yeah, right. So no one can cross over deep ocean. So we know that this area here will have no enemies, so we don't really have to worry about Western defenses. So what I'll do is um, they'll dismantle this, build one here, and then I'm going to do because uh, we have I don't know what mod is actually. Um, we can build these sort of like turrets, which are really cool. They're manned, but they're very, very strong. Very nice for just defending yourself. Oh, okay, so they've done that. It, oh, uh, it's Sanford's birthday today. Oh, that's nice. Who's Sanford? Oh, you. You're the person I didn't customise in any way whatsoever. I just sort of randomised you. You've warm skin today, which is quite nice. Oh, we do need to set up like a heater, though. Because, yeah. And actually... We do want more power than just one solar panel. So we're going to do this. Although this is very big and open, we could just set up a massive wind farm. But for now, we'll use this because this is fine. Um, uh, Taylor is visiting. There he is. O'Donnell. Oh my god, he's from Star Wars. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Right. I'm going to build a prize turret. It's going to be nice. Hasn't got any power, of course it doesn't, because we need to hook it up with power. Um, I'm not going to put it through the crops, because that would be silly. I'm going to put one up here, like this. And we'll do that. Do we have any metal? I should realise there's nowhere to mine. Metal's a little bit harder to get in this. Unless we get an actual mine, but we need to get a lot of silver to do that. Is this iron up here? That's come back. Steel, sorry, not iron. Um... And actually, no, I'm not going to open up any, we have no way of, like, sort of supporting anyone that's in a drop pod, so there's no point making, uh, opening one. These, um, cryptic cas caskets will have people in them. Most of the time they will be en enemies, though, and you'll have to kill them. And if you open up one of this and they're all enemies, well, you're screwed. Well, it could be worse, it could be, like, these beetle things which just own everything. Like, there's like, a good couple of shots with the turrets, where are you just, like, going? That actually also reminds me, I do want to put everyone on mining. Because uh, you're going to go and eat. Brilliant. That's not. That's really great. Um, still no power. Cause where is there no power? Because you're connected to the door, aren't you? Yeah, it was because it was connected to the door. Brilliant. Pretty marvelous. Okay, power set up here. Um, panda con a panda conduit. A yeah, a panda conduit. Because we're going to need pandas pretty soon, of course. Oh my god, it was cooking. They're cooking bacon. Which is a. Yeah, that, that's like bacon. Yeah. Mm. It, oh, got a thing. Oh, Cresta, what is it? What have we got? Plants. Oh, these are useless because we don't have a medical lab, but whatever, we'll go with it for now. Oh, there is appear to be a compacted seal there, so let's pause a second. Cancel this order up here and mine it from down here because it's closer. Is there any here actually? No. Oh. No, right, we'll just mine this one instead because there's a lot of it. Uh, well, not here though, so that'll be quite nice for now. That'll keep us going for iron, for steel for a little while. Oh, there's actually some there. Well, there is actually some there. Wow. We may want to just, like, put up some roof support beams around here and just mine out this whole area. And then set up some kind of, like, I don't know, just leave it there. <laughs> oh, okay, it's name space. We'll name it, um... Um, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it, uh, new... No, 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 no. Um, new Crapton. Well, there's actually no original. Let's call it Crapton. Crapton. Welcome to Crapton. Yeah. But it doesn't. Ch all it does is just change the safe name. Like, I j it doesn't actually change what you know, colonies called on the map, which is weird. Whatever. Go with it. What is Heisenberg doing? Heisenberg. Building the turret. Well, fair enough. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. I was going to dismantle these walls here. We're going to want to set up these things. Now these walls allow you to shoot through them, which I quite like. It does mean other people can shoot at you inside the building, but that's something we're going to have to sacrifice because we're going to set up a M2 Browning turret. And that's quite cool. 
And I'm also going to... Do I want to set up spotlights right now? No, don't need it. It's not very useful to us right now. What? What is this? This is... Uh, marble. Right, so this is a marble building, actually. And I think this map has marble on it. Right. Limestone. Marble. Yes, yeah, so there are marble chunks here. Brilliant. Okay. Gonna let them build that. Nice. Be fine. We're doing alright. <laughs> okay. Just let this roll. Nice and calm. They're just going to do their business. It's going to be fine. Heisenberg has disappeared again. He's down here getting food and medicine. That's fine. We have a. Uh, I would recommend you get a trade beacon up as soon as possible because you get these like little trade caravans that come by. Well, actually, no, we probably won't because we are on an isolated desert island. So yeah, whatever. Um. Wow. Yeah, I just realised. Are we gonna get a lot of visitors? We had that one visitor, but I, it was just on his own. Maybe his friends died like crossing the oceans. Whatever. We pretty cool if you can get like ships, like because they've got all the water and everything. Like, like big like. Dock. We can build a massive dock and have like boats bringing in and out imports. We can have like <gasps> turn this island into like a city and like we'll have Venice, New Venice. Oh, I should have called it. I should have called that. I should have called the colony that New Venice. Just like be great. Uh, now I'm playing four. Brilliant, brilliant. That's just great. Where are they? What are they all doing? They're just buggering off, eating. Great. I'm surprised they're not eating the thing closest to them though. That's quite weird. Whatever, they'll do. They'll be okay sleeping on the ground. We'll get them some proper accommodation soon. In fact, we might set that up. We might actually start planning that out now. I do want to set up some kind of huts. I'm going to put, plan out some pathways so there's not a little bit of confusion. So we're going to put a. Is that a bit too small? That's four. So actually, no. I'm going to move that over three. Space three. And we'll make that square. So that's four across. One, two, three, four. Then there'll be a space. And then one, two, three, four. And uh, that's not a square. That is. Okay. And that should technically mean that there is a space in the middle. Right, brilliant. So that's sorted. So I can just do this now. How long across that? Three. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. Okay, that's one. There is a gap. Is there, is there, have I put a gap in there? No, I haven't. Okay. We need to move that over one. Like this. We're going to put one there. Two, three. Space. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we can just now connect that up and make a square. Cool. Okay. So that's sort of the layout. We're going to have two houses on this side, I'm not going to build any on this side. In fact, I may put another one here, we'll dismantle all of this a little bit later once this house has been built. For now we'll put two bedrooms in these one room and then we'll eventually get it down to two. I might consider actually doing this, in fact I might just order and make this a really long room, like that. Actually, I should probably do it this way because the pathway's there. So, yeah. I just do this, remove parts, and have these really long rooms. That's fine. I didn't see anything wrong with that. It'd be like the little chalets. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna make them out of wood for now. We may upgrade them to, uh, I don't know, proper, proper materials. Build this out of wood because that's a little bit more renewable than, um, steel because the thing is i usually play in hills and mountains so there's lots of iron uh, steel ore but now that we have we are very limited in fact in steel so we're going to have to start relying a bit more on natural renewable materials until we can get the omni gel set up and omni gel is this thing which allows you to uh, create materials from a grown substance uh we will have to get into that a little bit later on though and also stones of course we may also have to get into rocks because that's pretty easy to get and we have got a lot of it on the map so we can put a door in there, and we can get some wooden floors down. And in fact, no, it would be fine. We don't need to, because I just, this wooden, these wooden panels require steel. I don't understand how, but apparently they do, so let's just go with it. Orders, chop down trees, it's fine. We're going to open up a growing area, actually, for trees. And they will take a long time to grow, but there'll be a lot of them, so whatever. And they'll grow, what trees are these? Pine trees, so they'll grow pine trees. There we go. 
and that'll go along with everything. Right, Heisenberg, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Just gonna make some crystal me no, um Right, you not go there. Badass, you're just doing fine. What's Samford doing? Samford's really boring compared to the other two. Just like, like, what's your name? I'm Heisenberg, and I'm a scientist. And then the other's just called Badass, and she like shoots people. And then you just got Stanford. Who, I, I don't think he has anything special to. Alright, oh, he's, he's actually a doctor, so maybe we should go a bit more nicer. And, oh, we can actually rename him. Awesome. We're going to call him Dr. Stan. Brilliant. Oh, I should probably put a capital there to emphasize the Stan. It's going to be great. Right, Dot Stan. There we go. I'll do fine. I like that. Well, there we go. Now he's got a personality. It's brilliant. He's going to be the first to die. Now that we've, now that we've enhanced him, he's going to die. Doesn't Badass, doesn't Badass have, like, cybernetics? She does, actually. She has increased manipulation. Manipulation. Uh, building his power. That's fine. Oh, crap, yeah. Oh, they built that. I didn't know it had a corner piece. That's really cool. Uh, we'll put some power in here. Um, oh, actually, no, just let's reconnect to the other one. There you go. So that'll heat up to a nice 20 degrees, keep them warm. It is actually, like, temperate outside. But in the, what I tend to find is we'll pro I'm not sure if I've put it in the right, if I've put it in that biome, but I think the biomes that I've usually played in, there's just a massive winter. Like, the winter is long and horrible. And then the summer is really short. I'm not sure if that's this type of biome. I think it's a bit too low, actually, so I think we're okay. It will get cold in the winter, like, no doubt about it. This is sort of like, I would say Scotland sort of cold. Like, it'll get really cold in, in the winter. Like, the Highlands sort of cold. And uh, so we will have to watch out for that. Even though we're not in the Highlands, actually, we are on the coast, so it's maybe even windy. It's just windy. Which actually means it is quite cold. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't know if there is a wind system in this yet. Uh... I hope not. I hope so. <laughs> hope not. Um, I do. No, I don't. That'd be horrible. Like everyone just dies because of a hurricane. It'd be great. No. Um. Oh. Oh, Brent. So some twat has just joined up. Like well, he is completely naked as well. Oh no, he has pants. At least he has pants. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Okay. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to murder someone from one of these crypto. Right. Everybody. All of you, including you. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to come. Okay, you're gonna your 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 initiation into this place will be to murder someone from this crypto c uh, casket. Right, so this this has happened. Someone just randomly comes and joins, which is just a pain in the ass at this stage in the game because I have no bedroom set up. Well, actually, no, I got four, won't I? I have four, so it's not actually that bad. No, no, I don't want to give him a double bed. I feel that's a little bit unfair. But whatever. Right, you lot are all gonna no, no, you're supposed to have been recruited. <sighs> you, 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 they come in here, they waltz in, they think they can own the whole place, and they think they don't have to do any work, and then they get shocked when they find out they do. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that we need to, this may be something we have to sort out, right? You're gonna go there. You've got close combat. You're gonna go there, because you're the one who's gonna open this casket. Where are you? Come on, you twat. We need to get you some clothes, or else you will die. Okay, well, so there you go. He actually has a really powerful gun. Well, there we go. Problem solved. Uh, can just. You're a psychopath, actually, so... You lot all just, um... Hilarious thing is, he doesn't actually have any clothes. What, what's your gun? Can you use guns? This will be, uh, interesting. Oh, he's got shooting fire. So, actually, I'm going to make you get the AK. Uh, the pulse rifle, actually. I thought it was an AK. So, you're going to get the, uh, pulse rifle. You're going to get that. And... Um... Yeah. And then all gonna, you're going to bugger off. You've got that. You've got that. Uh, we're going to dismantle this uh, cryptic because it gets you gold. Okay, so that's, well, I would say problem solved, but he still doesn't have any clothes. He has some trousers, but that's not really problem solved. Anyway, how you're going? Oh, you're getting food. Right, whatever. So they've obviously skipped nights. So they're not going to go to sleep now. It's going to be terrible. They're all going to get cranky and horrible. <sighs> um, a, a janitor has joined. Not joined, he's visiting. I have realised though that maybe this is a bit too big. Like maybe we don't need this. Uh, what I might do is actually cut this into four. I think that actually might be an idea. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this one into four, and I'm going to turn this into a medical clinic and this one into a uh, prison. So that'd be fine because we might want to start considering getting that. So you're going to get a wooden door in here, and you're going to put a wooden door in here as well, and a wooden door in here as well. 
Are you cutting down trees? What can you actually do, the scientist? You know, you're not as much of a scientist as Heisenberg. He's the best. Well, actually, no. Apparently, you are better than Heisenberg. Whatever. I have to make you do everything because you just need some general labourers. Actually, and also I want everybody to repair. Okay. Uh, what were you doing? What were you doing to Heisenberg? Or, uh, Doctor Stick? Oh, it's a bit interesting that he missed the woman and was doing something weird to the men. Right? Just, yeah. You're gonna instantly break that. Wow. He used his. Apparently, he used his teeth. Because I heard a clanging sound. And actually, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thanks for watching, everyone. And we survived the first few nights. We got a random new guy who has a name I can't pronounce. I may need to rename him and name him something like Sven. Actually, I might just, yeah. Your name's now Sven. Is that okay? No, you can't even talk to us because he's a cat in game character, so that's fine. Sven. That'll do. Nope, that is Sven. That's Sven. We'll do that. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. Just join me next time. Je show Makuda. That was gibberish. Sorry. Oh! Oh my god! Look! This is someone called Bryce. Brilliant. Um, randomly joining? No. <laughs> what? No, let's just open up the doors. Anyone can join. Actually, no, that I think about it, it might be a... Because we are on an isolated island, that's maybe why he joined. Maybe he's a castaway. Maybe he's a survivor. Because he is a survivor. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Bye.